So I made some more changes to this. Uh, what I tried to do now is I decided, can I establish a Pico net between uh, the Android device that's going to be the master and the, uh, the two RN42 modules that will be slaves. Uh, as you can see from the last video, I went ahead and I added an Arduino Pro Mini with another RN42 module. Um, so, interesting enough, I was able to get it to work. So, um, the way that it's segregated is based off the MAC address. So, changing the name, um, I went ahead and changed the names on each one of these. So, for instance, I called one bank zero and I called the other one bank one. Um, but when it looks through the uh, paired devices, it uh, the way it can segregate the two is based off the MAC address. So, let's go and give it a try. Um, so, um, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and open up the application again. So let's try bank one first, or bank zero, sorry. Turn my Bluetooth on again. All right. And I just left the uh, the pairing code the same. That can be changed though. So let's go ahead and do the pairing code. Okay. As you can see, this is no longer blinking. Uh, let me go ahead and shut the light off so you can see that it's green. So you can see that there's the green status LED it's on. Actually, let's leave this off. All right, so the other one's blinking. So it's uh, that's uh, that MAC address was ignored then. All right, so let's go and take a look at this again. All right, so you can see a status LED there. It was already on when I left it there. So, so there you go. All right, so let's go ahead and try the other one now. So let's go ahead and exit out of this. Okay, now let's go to bank one. Okay, give it a second to pop up here. Okay, so let's go ahead and pair to bank one. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit OK. As you can see, they're bank one paired, and uh, bank zero is not paired. So, let's go ahead and do this again. I left it on last time when I was testing this, so there you go. And as you can see, it's still saying data confirmed, as I showed you last time. Just going to get our view here. So I'll go back again to the first bank. I'll show you guys. All right, so it's unpaired again. Now let's go back to bank zero. Just click bank zero again. Here's our keypad. Let's be requesting Bluetooth again. All right, let's go ahead and pair bank zero again. Uh, I'm trying to. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see. <laughs> So let's go ahead and do that again. There it goes. All right. So um, again, let's do the uh, the data confirm check again. I'll just leave that so you can. It was already on before. Okay. Let's turn it back on again. Okay. Kind of did that a little bit too quick. All right. So I was able to uh, successfully establish a Pico net. So now the next part will be to uh, incorporate X10 into this whole project, and uh, yeah, we'll see what else we can do after that. Thank you.